Welcome back everybody. So today we are back to our, our photo organization. This is number four for April. And this is my personal accountability to get my photos printed. My year long challenge to myself is to get my photos, a lot of photos printed so that I have a wide variety of photos to select from when I'm getting ready to do some scrapbooking. So this month, I am so happy and pleased to say that I did order 187 uh, photos and I will put a picture of them in here. And I have already taken those photos and I've put them into my envelopes like we've discussed a couple other times and I've labeled them in the envelopes and I've even logged them in their sheets like we've talked about in the past as well. Okay, so now what I would like to talk about this month is my box. Okay, I have to get all these photos and actually there's a chunk of them that aren't going to go in this box because they were for my daughter's school album and I keep those um, separate. Okay, so this is my current ready, ready to scrapbook box. And as you can see, it is, let's get you that getting really full and I have to add all of these envelopes into the box and they're just not going to fit. This box is busting at the seams and I don't want to ruin my photos. I had to come up with another idea and that's what I want to show you guys today. What I did is I broke down and I bought this beautiful Creative Memories photo box. It's a power sort box is what they call it. The reason I broke down and bought this, and I will be totally honest, it is a lot more pricier than these photo boxes that we can get at, um, at any big box store. Okay, there is a, a significant price difference. And so when I say, why did I break down and buy that? Then that's what I mean is because I do feel like the, the price point you need to probably have um, a very good reason to purchase this. So, so my reasoning is I'm getting a lot of photos here, but these are my current photos to scrap. But now that I'm getting so many, then let's face it, I'm not gonna get them all scrapped very quickly, right? So this box is gonna help me because this box is, um, it's photo safe. It is acid free and ligand free and it will help keep them um, organized. It'll help keep the light off of them and help keep the dust out of the box. So you put these side by side. I'm not sure if I can get all that in frame. Nope, I don't think I can. But so this photo box, the new one is uh, bigger. It's oversized. It's um, 13 inches long compared to this box, which is about, 11 inches about 11 inches um, long so it can hold a good chunk more photos but what I really bought it for was to keep my photos uh, safe I don't want anything to damp to damage them um, if in case I now that I have so many if something should happen and I want to pause <laughs> for a moment then I know that they're gonna be nice and safe this box will hold 1200 photos so let's take a look on the inside. I'm going to turn it so you can see it. So inside, it does come with six um, of these black sorting boxes, which makes it really easy if you're working on one uh, particular project or album. You can just pull it out and go. So here I have some for my son. Okay. Each of the little black boxes will hold up to about 200 photos. Now, keep in mind, I do have my um, envelope, so I might get a few less in there, but I'm not going to count specifically to see if I can get 200. But roughly speaking, each box holds about 200. So that will give us 1,200 for the entire box. Okay. Um, it has a nice lid. And I like this feature too, because the lid has these bungee cords or these little ties that will hook on to each 
side and I love that feature because if you should drop the box, it's not gonna pop open. So my old box, I do keep the lid um, tucked underneath it so it's always open, but if I should drop that, that's going to be kind of a mess to put back together. Whereas this box, if I keep that tied on there, which I probably will because I, the whole point of it is to keep the light off of my photos. Okay, let me take show you one more great thing about this lid. This also, I want to tell you, it came flat. In the uh, when I ordered it, it came flat, and I did have to put it together. Okay, not, not the lid, but the six compartments and the box itself had to be put together. Okay, so here's the lid. Again, let me turn it this way so you can see it. Let me move this one out of the way. So this this lid, the features on this lid is another reason why I decided it was well worth the money because a lot of times I have a five by seven photo and it doesn't fit in my old box. Let me bring that back in one more time. So in my old box, I would have to put it off to the side and then it sticks up and I damaged them because they get all wrinkly if I don't um, scrap them right away. And there's no other really way to do that. So a lot of times I would put them like this or try and tuck them in and then they're just popping out. So the new box has a spot right up here. This pops out and you can keep your larger photos in here. So my five by sevens won't get ruined anymore. They'll just all be tucked up here, nice and safe. You can also put a memorabilia up here if, um, if, you, had, if you wanted to. Okay, so that's the lid. Uh, the lid does tuck into the box. Uh, you can nest the box straight into the lid while you're working on it. Okay, so let's look at the dividers that come with this box. So you get six dividers, which helps you to um, sub-organize each of the little black boxes, or I use them for headers for each year, and then behind each one, um, I put those photos that go with that year. You can write on it with this uh, photo labeling pencil. Creative Memories also sells this. They're pretty inexpensive. I think this is a few dollars, I think $3 or something like that. And so I just simply wrote on it. Then once you're done and you wanna reuse it, all you have to do is, I use a white eraser on mine and then you just rub it off. Uh, um, I think it takes a little bit of friction and get going on it, but it does come off. And then you could write something else and reuse it. Okay, now I want to get my photos into the new box. So I'm going to pause the camera and I will take my photos from my old um, current box and get them into my new Creative Memories Power Sort box. And I'll be right back to show you my progress. Okay, here we go. I got everything in here. I started my new section for 2022 and I have a little bit of room to grow in to that. I, I can't believe how full this really is. These two sleeves right here are for 2021. So those are getting pretty full. That, that's full. I'm done printing for 2021. So this is all of them, but you know, I'm gonna be honest. These are pretty packed full. Um, the good thing here is that this, plastic. It's made of some sturdy plastic, but it is a little bit bendable. And the same thing is true with the, um, the pockets. It, they're a little bit pliable. So I was able to get everything in there, but they are pretty full. So that's 2021. 20, uh, um, yeah, so all these years are printed. So I have 2007, 2017, 2020. Now, I, I thought I was pretty much done with 2020, so I think I'm gonna be going through this to see what's left in that, and then 2021 and 2022 in the back. So I still have a few months to grow with that, and uh, so we'll see. So here's my old box. We'll see uh, what we're gonna do with that. I will take my label out of here, and this one does also have a place for a label on it as well. 
Okay, so there you go. There's the Creative Memories Power Sort box. And I will have the link down below in the description. Um, anytime I mention a Creative Memories product used in my video, I will always try to remember the link so it'll take you right there. So yeah, this is perfect for storing photos, especially if you have a lot of photos that you want to get organized, but you're not yet ready to um, scrapbook them. This will keep them nice and safe. I have some friends who were just mentioning how they have a bunch of family photos that were given to them and they were asking me how they could keep them safe and this is what I definitely would recommend. So take a look at this if you're interested and um, keep on printing those photos. I hope that you are following along and you are getting your photos ready to scrap. So when you're cre feeling creative, all you have to do is pull them out of the box and get them into your albums. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.